morning, and welcome to the early edition of Luke Makes Breakfast. Uh, if you joined us last night, you would have seen us make meatloaf for dinner. Um, this morning we're going to make breakfast out of that same meatloaf. If you get sick and tired of the same old breakfast, eggs, bacon, scrambled, we're going to give you a different option, something a little more riskier to, uh, to make a sandwich with. Now, this meal was inspired by the Denny's Moons Over My Hammy, and with lack of a better word for it, we're just going to call it the Moons Over My Meatloaf. Alright, so let's get started here. First, we're just going to go ahead and beat two eggs, get them scrambled up. As you can see, we already have our oven on, pans are hot. We don't like to put eggs or anything on a pan that needs to be heated up. We want that pan already hot. It really helps speed up the cooking time. All right. A couple minutes here. And we will go ahead and dump this on. Now some people add milk to their scrambled eggs, omelets, whatever. They do that for density. We don't need to do that when we're making an omelet style egg. We don't need it as fluffy as you normally would if you're going to scramble eggs up. So we're just going to beat the two eggs and go ahead and dump it on the pan. We'll flatten it out there. Go ahead, garlic, pepper, a tad bit of creole. All right, let's get our bread buttered. Much like you do a grilled cheese, you want to just butter each side of the bread. We'll throw them on the pan. This gives us our Texas toast feel to our sandwich. All right, let's come over here. We'll move this around a little bit. Meatloaf's already prepped and in the oven. We got a nice thin slice. Let's go ahead and just heat that up real quick. As you can see, the egg doesn't take long to cook at all. That pan was already warm. Make sure this stays a nice even square to place on the bread nice and evenly. One slice of American cheese, all you need, much like you do a grilled cheese sandwich. We're going to put it on the egg, have it melt right on the egg. Now the thing that might take the longest to do is toasting the bread, Some, depending on how much you like your bread dark. My customer, this time, prefers it not to be burnt at all, just lightly toasted. Alright, so we have our slice of meatloaf here. You can see the smoke coming off of it. See those onions and green pepper texture stayed nicely overnight. So the thing we have to remember when, when doing this is we want to keep it on the burner. It's tough to check these. This is why I do the bread separate. Some people would throw the egg on top of it. That's just going to weigh the bread down and it's going to cook up unevenly. This way we can check the, check the bread as we go along. We'll trim the egg off here. There we go. Everything's prepped. Now we're just waiting for our toasted bread to get heated up. We already have hash browns prepped. Nice little side item here. These are potatoes cut up, seasoned like a steak would be. Uh, Famous Dave's dry rub. Any type of seasoning would work. We prefer to use our, our own mixture of Creole, garlic pepper, Cajun seasoning, 
and of course black pepper. You can throw that right on top of the egg and cheese. As you notice, we left the eggs in the carton this time, no eggs rolling onto the floor. All right. Let's go ahead and move on. We got our meatloaf on one side. We can throw that egg right over the top. The egg represents the moon over the meatloaf. Get rid of the extra waste. Important to always be cleaning your station right behind you. You're ready to cook the next meal. Just how my customer had recommended. Lightly toasted. Grab a plate. There we go. You can take a look at this. Switch off. And we have a means over my le moons over my meatloaf. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.